Volkswagen has unveiled the new Polo GTI, which it developed in parallel with the standard Polo. The GTI may be very sporty, but the suspension is still very comfortable, and the GTI delivers a satisfyingly athletic roar. This stretch of road is one hairpin curve after the next, says car tester Andre Zimmermann. Perfect terrain to expose what's ordinarily the weakness of a front wheel driven car, the way it's liable to understeer when accelerating out of a curve. But thanks to the GTI's XDS cross differential system, stepping on the gas stabilizes the car and helps it grip the road. The Polo GTI is a barrel of fun on these serpentine curves with some serious steering. But here, there's no straightaways where he can really step on it and try some wide curves. So he's headed to the racetrack. And dafür müssten wir dann doch mal woanders hinfahren. 147 kilowatts and 320 newton meters of torque from a two-liter TFSI engine make this Volkswagen a truly hot hatchback. Currently, it's available only as a six-speed DSG automatic transmission. Starting price in Germany is just under 24,000 euros. The Circuit de Mallorca racetrack features both fast and very tight curves, perfect for showing just what the GTI can do. This car is seven centimeters wider than its predecessor, and the benefits are immediately apparent. When needed, the standard XDS system slows the inside front wheel. That helps the car grip the road in a curve and prevents understeering. Andre's keen to try these wide curves where he can really let the Polo GTI soar. In a fast curve, the tail of the car seems to come around and help with steering. It's a good feel. The springs have been stiffened by 40% compared to the previous model. Its suspension has been lowered by 15 millimeters. In the hairpin, Andre doesn't have to turn the wheel hand over hand. He'd still do it on a normal road for safety's sake, but the steering is so responsive that here on the racetrack, he doesn't need to. When a manufacturer says a car is made for the racetrack, Andre says, take it with a grain of salt. This is certainly no race car, but on the racetrack, the GTI struts its stuff. It's an opportunity any GTI owner shouldn't pass up. The new GTI's exterior is sporty, but understated. The various GTI tags and the red stripe on the radiator grill are a nod to the car's iconic roots. The stripe extends all the way to the optional LED headlights. The GTI's rear is understated too. You might even mistake it for a standard Polo. For an extra 400 euros, the analog displays can be upgraded to the digital active info version. Tartan seating upholstery is standard. For now, the GTI comes only with a DSG twin clutch automatic with matching launch control. Launch control also helps the GTI leap from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 6.7 seconds. A GTI with manual transmission is slated to come out in mid 2018. Andre sums up, the Polo GTI is a very powerful piece of machinery. It takes curves fast and safely, but it's almost too perfect. Some drivers may feel like there's not enough work left to do. The XDS and the electronic stability control systems keep the car on the beam either way. For drivers who like the feeling of being in charge, it may be a bit too much of a good thing. Und das schmerzt mich dann als Autofan doch ein bisschen im Herzen. But fans of sporty compacts will enjoy the new Polo GTI, not least because it's one of the only models in its class that sport a 2-liter engine.